It's time for the next round of the Starfall Tournament. This is a what if series where we investigate how Sonic Frontiers would have played out differently if the end had devised a tournament to set itself free from its cyberspace prison. We're right in the thick of the quarterfinals with plenty of fights still to go, so strap in and enjoy. If you end up liking this video and want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe to keep up with what I put out in the future. And if you'd like to support this channel, please share the video around so that more people can find out and join in on the fun. Without further ado, let us begin. With Infinite contained and removed from the arena, its surface returns to normal, only lightly chipped and scarred from the previous fight, and as such, the end does not see fit to repair it. It does, however, announce the next match, and it will be between Sonic the Hedgehog and Shadow the Hedgehog. Sonic grins. Well, I guess it had to happen sooner or later. Ready for a friendly sparring match, Shadow? I don't make a habit of pulling my punches. When I fight, I fight for real. Oh, come on, you know what I mean. Don't pretend as if you're not interested in seeing which one of us can come out the strongest. <laughs> don't tempt me. Amy grabs Sonic's arm, surprised at the words coming out of his mouth and obviously concerned. Sonic, what are you talking about? Remember that if you... If you lose, then you'll be... Yeah, 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 I know, Amy, but you heard the voice in the sky. We've got a fight, so we might as well enjoy it. Besides, look at the bright side. When I beat Shadow into the dirt, I'll still be in the tournament. Right, Shadow? The Dark Hedgehog starts to walk onto the arena. Just hurry up and get over here. Amy still grasps Sonic's arm and holds his gaze. He sighs. Look, Amy, I haven't forgotten the serious situation we're in. Everyone's depending on us right now. But you know as well as I, Shadow isn't one to share his emotions freely. But he's going to want to make 100% sure whoever leaves that arena is equipped to win this thing. And I agree. So that's why we're going to go all out so that there's no doubts in our hearts. This is just the way we do things. Dream comes along beside them and tells Amy not to worry. Sonic and Shadow have never let them down before. Amy relents and releases Sonic's arm saying, okay, just look after yourselves. Sonic gives her a wink, you know I always do, and runs onto the arena to face Shadow. For the fastest thing alive, you're awfully slow. Hmm. <laughs> still think you can beat me, Shadow? I think you're forgetting the amount of times I already have. Oh, so that's how it's gonna be, huh? Well then, come on, bring it up. I wish you luck, Sonic. You're going to need it. A sonic boom goes off as both hedgehogs break the sound barrier, speeding towards one another head on. Once they collide, they bounce back from the sheer momentum behind one another and boost once again, hitting twice, then a third time, clashing in a blistering blaze of speed and flame. They then start running around the arena, pushing against one another, face to face, as they try to overpower the other's speed causing a trail of fire behind them as they run around the width of the arena. Shadow takes the initiative, grabs the back of Sonic's head, and face slams him to the ground. But, reacting at high speed, Sonic curls into a ball and bounces up. He then descends to bounce attack Shadow, who flips backwards, kicking Sonic, deflecting the attack. Sonic then turns into the homing attack, trying to catch him from the side. Shadow parries this as well with his fist, bouncing him back like a volleyball. Sonic uncurls from his ball as he's still in the air. <laughs> Catch me if you can! But Shadow appears behind him with a teleportation and strikes him in the back, oh! launching him into the ground. Sonic skids on the floor as he recovers from the attack and Shadow lands in front of him. <laughs> Alright then. Sonic starts revving up a spin dash and then charges towards Shadow. In response, Shadow swings one of his arms towards Sonic and unleashes a torrent of chaos energy, overflowing and lapping around the spin ball. However, Sonic has enough endurance to clash with this chaos energy, and Shadow is gradually pushed inch by inch back. He could keep going, but it appears Sonic isn't going to give up, and ultimately, he's the one losing out as he expends chaos energy. So instead, he teleports behind Sonic, allowing him to spin past. Sonic drifts around and returns to strike Shadow once again, but he holds out his right palm and a sphere of white energy forms within it. Once Sonic gets close enough, he throws his arm forward and it expands around Sonic. 
capturing him in some sort of energy bubble. Sonic puts his hands against it and is unable to leave its containment. What the? <laughs> Looks like you're out of range. Sonic starts striking the surface, but ripples are the only things he can cause. Oh, come on! Shadow then starts striking the sphere with powerful chaos-imbued attacks, and it starts pingballing around the arena as it ricochets against the invisible arena's barrier. Zavok face palms on the side. To think, my greatest adversary was bested by a ball. <sighs> it's insulting. Sonic's getting tossed up and down inside that thing. Whoa! But then he starts rolling into a ball himself and moves in tandem with the momentum of the larger sphere. Eventually, he's able to control the way it goes. And since he is a ball, he's not getting slammed against its surface anymore. Shadow stops striking as he realizes Sonic's in control. <laughs> it seems like you forgot spinning's my thing. Realization washes over Shadow's face. Shoot! as Sonic starts intentionally ricocheting off the sides of the arena into Shadow himself. Blast away! A giant ball of energy whirling around at Sonic speed, colliding with Shadow over and over again. Eventually, on an upward shot, Sonic's barrier breaks as he grabs his legs and spins around in a trick. All right! Shadow, on the other hand, crashes onto the floor, but flips back onto his feet. Chaos! Oh, no, you don't. Sonic sees Shadow pulling his hand back and boosts towards him, grabbing that hand whilst he knees Shadow into the chest. He then bounces against the floor, knocking Shadow up into the air. Sonic bounces once more to go above Shadow, and then he uncurls from his ball and drop kicks, crashing into Shadow's back and smashing him against the floor, flipping off of him and landing a fair distance away. Come on, Shadow. Is that the best you've got? Hmm. You haven't seen anything yet. What are you waiting for? Oh, let me guess. Can't keep up? Mm. Don't look at me like that, Shadow. Here, I'll show you a new trick. Sonic hops up slightly into the air and starts swinging his feet as he shoots waves and waves of blue energy blades towards Shadow. He reacts quickly and starts throwing out chaos spears to collide with them, but Sonic is able to unleash a larger quantity of them and at a faster rate than Shadow's own chaos spears. He's surprised by this, but he's not going to just sit around and get overwhelmed. He quickly teleports behind Sonic to finish this, but Sonic stops his attack and turns around to kick the air behind him. <laughs> I saw that one coming! Oh. Shadow had foreseen Sonic adapting to this, and so as soon as he teleported behind Sonic, he teleported again to where Sonic was originally looking, meaning that Sonic's counter-attack got countered. Sonic cries out as Shadow punches him with a powerful chaos imbued strike and he tumbles onto the arena's surface, picking himself up afterwards. Shadow readjusts his gloves as he looks to Sonic. That's enough warming up. Uh, warming up? It's time to step things up. A sharp sound is heard as blades of energy wrap around Shadow's hands. He holds them out flat as if they were inbuilt daggers as he charges towards Sonic and starts swinging them precise, quick, and agile. Sonic uses his reflexes to bob and weave around Shadow's strikes, but since they are just his hands coated in energy, they're very fast, and every so often one of them nicks Sonic in the arm. Sonic hops back to make some distance between him, but Shadow flings the energy off of his hands, one and then the other. The first one misses, and the second one gets reflected by Sonic as he kicks it away. Shadow was still in hot pursuit, so Sonic gets low to the ground and spins with his legs. The ultimate life form anticipated this to be a leg sweep and simply hopped over it, but instead, Sonic continues spinning around as he generated enough momentum to cause a blue tornado to appear. Shadow, in the air and unable to respond to this, gets sucked up into it, and whilst he's spinning around, Sonic hits him with a homing attack, saving him from the tornado's effects, but obviously hitting him in the face. Shadow recovers mid-air thanks to his jet shoes and glares at Sonic as he holds his hands above his head and summons another Chaos Spear. But this one is different to the usual. It forms as a solid green mass, a tangible spear made of Chaos Energy that he wields like a traditional warrior as he charges down towards Sonic. Uh-oh! Sonic flips back as the spear plunges into the stone, but Shadow quickly picks it up and starts swinging it around like a bat. He ducks under it, then he jumps over the next one. As he goes to kick Shadow in the head, Shadow uses his free hand to grab Sonic's foot and throw him onto the floor. 
His eye just catches a movement of green light as he rolls to the side after this to dodge another spear thrust. On his feet, Sonic has to keep on moving, his physical form looking more like a blurry afterimage as Shadow unleashes thrust after thrust like a hypercharged fencer towards Sonic. Minute changes in his aim as he keeps on attacking, his own form blurry to the naked eye. Eventually, one of them strikes Sonic in the side as he gasps out, and using this as an opening, Shadow spins around and brings the spear across Sonic's face, with enough force that the spear itself shatters and Sonic corkscrew spins away. Continuing the pressure, Shadow throws a single Chaos Spear into Sonic as he tumbles. However, Sonic's able to recover mid-air and deflect the Chaos Spear. What? Shadow was surprised that Sonic still had enough energy to do that. As Sonic returns to the floor, he gives Shadow a stern look. You want serious? You've got serious. And he boosts towards Shadow, a strange purple digital trail behind him as he uses the Psy Loop technique. Caught unawares, Shadow takes the full brunt of its effect as a surge of energy strikes and cuts at his body, launching him up into the sky as he still feels the pain of that attack. Sonic jumps up with his homing attack to hit Shadow, and then, much like he did to his classic form, tries to bury him under a wave of energy blast from the cross slash technique. Shadow's hemmed into the ground as a puff of smoke emerges. Sonic lands and calls out to him, Come on, Shadow. I know you're not done after that. And sure enough, as the dust clears away, Shadow has picked himself back up, though he looks slightly worse for wear this time. Sonic exaggeratingly puts a finger to his mouth. Now, how would you put this? Playtime is over! And he boosts around Shadow once more with the Psy Loop. But this time, Shadow understands how it works. He teleports outside of its circumference. Sonic completes the loop, and it strikes nothing. However, Rings spew out from the center. Huh, that's not happened before. And Sonic runs to grab them all. As he does, he suddenly keels over. Sonic, what's wrong? <laughs> A flash of lightning strikes from the sky above onto Sonic. He slowly stands to his feet, eyes closed. Still until he opens them, sparking with a blue glow as electricity rives around his body. On the side, Surge wakes up at last after her previous match and looks on the stage to see the figure of Sonic overflowing with electricity facing against Shadow. What the hell? What's going on? Sonic wields one of his signature grins. Now it's my turn! With a quip of lightning, Sonic charges towards Shadow but he spins around with the back of his foot and kicks him in the face, causing Sonic to disappear entirely. Shadow is completely confused with the interaction as another Sonic appears to his side and strikes him in the chest. Then another, and another, and another, and another. Hundreds of Sonics phasing in and out of existence for a mere moment strike Shadow and then vanish. Too many appear at once to simply be the cause of Sonic moving at light speed. He's using the Phantom Rush technique from Sonic Frontiers as a bunch of cyber-powered clones plus himself repeatedly jab Shadow. He's lifted off his feet from the sheer force and quantity of their strikes, experiencing nothing but consistent pain as Sonic does so. Eventually the attack's over and he knocks Shadow back with one last powerful hit. Shadow tumbles through the air but once again manages to land on his feet. Chaos Spear! A ring of Chaos Spears appears around Sonic and start enclosing him, threatening to cut him off. Sonic rolls and then jumps, doing a stylish trick as the ring closes in on itself below him. Shadow summons more of these enclosing spear rings, but Sonic bounces and rolls in and out of them, avoiding the attacks. But as a result, he's not focused on Shadow himself, who teleports right in front of Sonic and punches him in the gut, unleashing a torrent of Chaos Energy as he does so. Sonic keels over, coughing out, but then he grabs Shadow's arm and looks at him with a smirk. Holding Shadow's arm, he flips backwards, spinning him around and smashing him against the floor as they land onto the arena. Shadow revs up a spin dash of his own to get away, but Sonic's onto him. Not so fast! And he elbows the back of Shadow, ending his spin dash, but in the small amount of time Sonic would have to hit Shadow before he fell onto the floor again, he charges at him with a thousand lightning imbued strikes, pushing Shadow from one side of the arena to the other, as Sonic attacks with such a fluidity that it's unclear what state of being he's in. 
his visible form unseeable. A mess of different shades of blue as they spark into Shadow. At the end of it all, Shadow's launched into the side of the arena and Sonic stops chasing after him, instead shooting a wave of energy that flows towards him. Shadow falls off onto the floor and raises his hands to guard against the arena, bruised up from the previous beating. He doesn't have much more to give as the energy pushes him closer to the edge once again. And then something clicks. Ah! Waves of energy envelop Shadow's body as Sonic's blast is dispersed around him. His eyes flow with a fluctuating shine as he enters his chaos boost state. Shadow now has full access to his chaos abilities. Shadow tenses up as the power surges out of his body, splintering the slabs beneath his feet. They shatter as he jumps off towards Sonic, who in turn sparks of lightning as he hops into the sky himself, and they meet at the center of the arena, thrusting an arm at one another as Shadow's hand wrapped in raw chaos energy clashes with Sonic's coated in mysterious lightning. An energy pulse emits from where they strike, charging past them, coating the arena and traveling through its invisible barrier. The floor of the arena itself is completely malformed, shattered and shifted into strange shapes, pillars of rock and earth upturned, stone slabs scattered into tiny bits. The spectators aren't safe either, as all of them besides Chaos and Zavok are knocked onto their backs from the energy wave. Sonic and Shadow push against one another still, suspended from the raw strength they admit, but with his free hand, Shadow creates a Chaos Spear and throws it into Sonic's chest. It collides, causing him to wince as he's pushed away from Shadow and launched towards the ground, the spear still embedded in him until he collides with the soil, where it detonates. Shadow then throws his arm down to unleash a volley of Chaos Spears, and when they hit, they all explode like a scatter grenade. Sonic survives this and darts around on the floor, his appearance visible for a second here and there as he speeds around. Shadow is able to track him and throws another volley of Chaos Spears, blowing up on the floor, missing Sonic, and launching even more chunks of the arena's old surface into strange pillars of malformed earth. Sonic responds to the next shot Shadow throws at him by launching his own special attack, the homing shot, where large spinball-like entities emerge and strike the Chaos Spears, blowing up halfway between him and Shadow, creating a smoke screen. And through it, at his highest speed, Sonic twirls and spins around, appearing above Shadow's head, where he drops the heel of his boot onto Shadow's forehead, using his axe kick technique. A decisive blow is dealt to his rival as Shadow tumbles towards the ground, but before he hits it, he teleports above Sonic, using that own momentum against him, as he holds both his fists together and clocks Sonic on the head on his way past him, knocking Sonic onto the ground. Shadow now remains in the air, Sonic picking himself up, still sparking with electricity. A thick coating of dust lingers on the arena, making it hard for others to see. And it's not a flat surface anymore, more like a destroyed mountain range. In the air, Shadow takes a deep breath as molts of light start spawning around and wisping into his body. He opens his eyes as he glows with a bright sheen as he calls upon the ancient light's power, blasting towards Sonic at light speed. The spectators no longer have a clue of what's going on. They just hear the sounds of explosions as Shadow and Sonic fight at a speed beyond what most can perceive. The Phantom Rush technique tries to overwhelm Shadow once again, but this time he's able to counter each and every form of Sonic that shows up thanks to his ancient light speed. Then he grabs Sonic by the face and rams him through one of the large rocky pillars, smashing through it, splintering it as it dissolves into tiny dust from the sheer impact of the force. They then start burrowing through the arena and up into the sky as they charge at one another at this insane speed. Eventually, Sonic lands a kick towards Shadow's chest, transferring a charge of electricity into him. His body is racked with agitation, but he manages to grit through for his next move. Chaos Blast! A red ball of energy quickly consumes the entire arena. Fortunately for everyone else, it's contained within its barrier. They look on as what looks to be a living red sun grows and dies within the confines of the arena. When it fades away, thick black smoke is all they can see. Within the center, like the eye of a storm though, 
is a clear space that Sonic and Shadow occupy. Shadow barely stands with his arms hanging loose behind him, and Sonic rests against an upturned slab of stone with one hand as he breathes heavily himself. Shadow opens up both his palms, sparking with chaos energy, except only one of them does so as he looks to the other. <gasps> Sonic gives a pained smile. <laughs> looks like you're all out of time? His voice wavers near the end as he looks at his own body, fading out of existence. Sonic and Shadow share a surprised look as he says, I don't know what's happening. And he's gone. Faded away as if he had lost the fight. Shadow, alone in the storm, falls to one knee. The fight is over. It seems he has won. And with that, what is possibly one of the most fated battles is over. Sonic vs. Shadow. Both of them had a lot to give, and Sonic brought his brand new techniques from Frontiers to bear. But at the end of the day, something else seems to have been at play. What happened to Sonic? Who knows? Guess you'll have to keep watching to find out. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. It helps the channel a great deal and shows me your support. Please feel free to like and subscribe to keep up to date with what I'm doing. And if you'd like to further help me out, please share this video amongst your friends so that more people can get involved. But until then, I hope you have a great day and to see you next time. This is the Mighty Emperor signing off.